We had a girl named Chelsea who had been hit by a car and sadly I had to call my husband, tell him that he needed to come and say goodbye to her. Instead he told her, if you get better, we'll take care of Golden Retrievers forever. When we started in 2000, we had eight acres of dirt. And now we've got 12 different yards. We've got a training pavilion. We've got a therapy pool, a kennel with dorm rooms. We have a fully equipped vet clinic right on site. It's amazing what's been accomplished in the last 15 years. And now we've rescued almost 8,000 dogs and found them loving new homes. The unique thing about Homeward Bound is that nobody gets paid. Everybody is a volunteer, so all monies donated go to the dogs. The dogs coming to Homeward Bound come to us from families who can no longer keep them for any number of different reasons. We get them from shelters. We get them as strays on the street. Oftentimes, getting the dogs to us requires the help of our uh, Golden Taxi team. The first thing that we do is we have them see our vet, Dr. Cotty. Every dog gets a full exam. They get a heartworm test. They have all their vaccinations caught up. They get full blood work, whatever they need. It's taken care of. Once that's been done, we do a behavior evaluation where the volunteers spend time with them, they handle them, they figure out what they know, what they don't know, what areas we need to work on. At least 30% of dogs are not socialized that come through here. Basically, they're afraid. It's about giving them exercise and giving them training and giving them a chance. We vet our applicants to ensure that they go to good, loving homes. If given a little time, we can usually find a great match for every family. Homeward Bound is 100% volunteer powered, so it takes thousands of human hours to keep this place going. On top of that, it takes thousands of dollars to keep it going. Only a small portion of our money comes from our actual adoption fees, which doesn't even begin to cover the costs of all of the things that it takes to get a dog ready to go home. With our senior to senior program, we place golden oldies with retirees who would still like to have a gentle old golden retriever at their side. Our youth program has been around about five years and our hope is to teach them about rescue and what it takes. There's a heart and soul that uh, the kids have a chance to really see when they come in here. It's just kind of like we're teaching that next generation and that next generation so that Homeward Bound will always be here and be a a safe place, a halfway house for the golden retrievers that need to go home. I think the thing that makes me the proudest is how many volunteers come together and how well they work together to care for the dogs. We do it because we love the dogs. No matter what the problems are, no matter what the situation is, there's somebody that steps up. There's somebody that says, I can do that, I can help, I can fix it. We have an unbelievably warm, compassionate, committed group of volunteers. The volunteers are here every day of the week, walking them, feeding them, grooming them. While the majority of the dogs that come into Homeward Bound are healthy, happy, and ready to go into new families, um, we have seniors coming in that are just looking for a retirement home. They will be the ones spending time at Sugar Shack Acres, the name of our new senior center sanctuary. He never had sight, and I'm not even sure if he ever had eyeballs, actually. But he's amazing. He is so sweet, and he uses his uh, sense of sound and smell and uh, can chase the ball. <laughs> we have a great ball with a bell in it. It's of course all about the dogs. It's a dog rescue, but it really rescues me too. Most inspiring dogs. Yeah, there's too many. Um, Winchester, been shot by a gun, had half his face blown away by all the pellets. People ask me all the time, you know, how do you do this? How do you have dogs come in that are old and that possibly might die? His whole sinus cavity was opened and all he did is snuggle up. You see them come in and they're grateful for absolutely 
everything that you can do for them. Bernie, hit by a car, abandoned in a field, broken jaw, broken bones, couldn't even eat. A lot of times they've never had a bed or they've never had a decent meal. They've certainly never had anybody that loved them. You know, his jaw's fixed, he wags his tail, he kisses on you. And they bring so much love. The dogs have taught me never to give up, no matter what medical condition they come in. At. Sorry, I'm gonna get serious. These dogs come in and I've been told that they might only have six months to live, and they've lived three years. It's, there's no way of telling, but they just bring an incredible amount of love and joy into my home. It's all about the dogs. The good boy, Billos. We're very grateful for our dedicated donors who come through anytime we need extra funding for our facilities, our dogs, and it's all about the dogs. It's all about the dogs. It's all about the dogs. You're being a really good boy. It's all about the dogs. It's all about the dogs. It's all about the dogs. And the volunteers. <laughs> <laughs>